You started off this by saying, um, Todd creates stories that people then talk about, and I think we're finding now there's a merger in some of the best advertising, um, which is put a controversial point of view out there, um, put it out there with feeling and spirit, and then people will discuss it as well. Certainly in marketing, there has to be some sort of affinity, surely. That, that's true. It's interesting, though. One of the first questions we ask now when we see work presented to us is, is it authentic? Um, and that's a question we ask more but before we ask, will people like it? Um, and quite often, uh, I find I'm prepared, to, I'm more than prepared to run work that I know some people won't like. Can you um, give us an example of that, James? Well, there's a lot of the Johnny Walker work in China was controversial, um, and people didn't, didn't like that. Um, I rejected some work on another brand, which would have been popular, um, but didn't have a clarity of point of view. Uh, it, didn't, it didn't take a position clearly on the world, and I think um, brands that are going to be respected as well as loved, which is what we want, we want the respect as well as love, um, because there's a cluttered world out there. Um, people aren't going to spend time on many brands, um, I think it, then you've got to build stories which are authentic and real as well as entertaining and engaging. And so I think taking a point of view on the world and being you know, yourself and true is I think the, mo the, the, the starting point for stories even in marketing. People get confused by two things. Uh, first of all, they get confused by which stories to tell about their brands because most brands have got lots of stories and I think most brand managers try to tell so many stories at once. There's no clarity and you, you, know, you lose it. Um, but the second is I think we're also getting confused by all the wonderful technologies and um, networks that will be on display this week at Spikes. And I think we can get seduced by the media and not the story. So I think the most important thing is find out the most interesting story that you've got and then find the most interesting way of telling it. So sort of and the, the media will fit what story you want to do. So well, sort of yeah. com content up rather than, rather than media down. Very much so, because that, it's not authentic doing right. it any, any other way. And don't get me wrong, I love new technologies, I love social media, I love all the different ways of doing it. But I think we, we can be seduced into starting with that and working back. And I think we'll, in a few years' time, think, we, we were fooled by that. There's a much more honest relationship now, there's a much more open relationship now. I, I do think social media keeps you honest. Um, I mean, we can all think of examples of brands who've made over claims, um, sometimes ridiculous ones, and they found a, a film on YouTube proving them wrong the following day. So I think to some extent, even if you don't go into it wanting to be telling truths, uh, you're going to have to be, whether you like it or not. James, I mean, surely there's no room for failure at Diageo. <laughs> I'm trying to create a culture where there is room for failure. But I think we, we say we want to get 10 out of 10 quality work, and that's what we shoot for. Um, but in doing that, you're going to get 3 out of 10 sometimes, because you're going to get it horribly wrong. And I would much rather get 3 out of 10 quality advertising from our agencies, once or twice and learn and move on, than a steady 6 or 7 out of 10. Right. So there is room for failure. Um, people don't get penalised from it. Uh, we learn and we move on. But um, you can't have an appetite for brilliance. Um, if you don't make mistakes. It's just not possible. And how do you, I mean, so again, on Corporation Street, how do you measure the effect and the power and the, the return on investment of a good story? How does that manifest itself? Well, I mean, you, you, we have all these techniques so you can see it in sales. But I, what, I, what I like is when I see people spending time with our brand online. Um, what I like is when I hear people sharing it and we've got ways of finding out if people do share the stories themselves and pass them on. Um, what I like is when people retell our stories in different ways. I like it when our, our language becomes part of everyday speech, as is done with several of our you know, Red Stripe in America, a campaign I was involved in, uh, some of the Guinness work. Um, people use those phrases, some of the best Johnny Walker work. Um, and I like it when our brands become part of people's everyday interpretation of the world around them.